First Alert Weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Like your Monday, Tuesday will be windy and unseasonably cool, and it'll actually be our coolest day of the next seven. The good news is conditions do improve out there as we go through the end of the week, and by the weekend, we finally start to warm things up a little bit, and especially as we get into the beginning of next week. Sandy, now a post-tropical storm, will continue to work its way across Pennsylvania today and then drift its way northward over the next three, taking away some of that cooler air along with it. High pressure building in from our west should bring back some sunshine for us as we go to the end of the week and for the weekend, and that means warmer conditions coming in as well. So some good news there, but still looking for windy conditions across our area today. Wind gusts 25 to 35 miles an hour will be possible. Sustained winds at times could reach over 25 miles an hour. That's mainly uh, toward the coastal areas, but then as we go through the next few days, as mentioned, the winds will die down a little bit. Still talking 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts by Thursday. And it does look like conditions get a little calmer as we go to your weekend for today. Look for mostly cloudy skies. Can't rule out a few wraparound sprinkles out there. It will be windy and cool with temperatures only topping in the upper 50s by the beaches, mid to upper 50s as you get to the PD and the border belt. That's really where we can see those sprinkles, about a 20% chance of a rain shower or two there. For tonight, mostly cloudy, windy and colder. Temperatures dropping down to the upper 30s to low 40s. Area wide 39 in Conway and Lumberton, 40 in Florence and Marion, 42 in Myrtle Beach and Myrtle's Inlet. You factor in the wind, though, wind chills will be in the 30s. Your Grand Strand seven day forecast. Halloween day, still a little bit of excess cloud cover out there. Low 60s for your highs. We'll be into the mid 60s, though, for the end of the week and through the weekend, and even by Monday knocking on the door of 70 degrees along the Grand Strand, but wake up temps will stay close to the low 40s through the end of the work week and even mid 40s for your weekend. Inland areas, your wake up temps will be even colder, middle and upper 30s as we go through the week ahead and into the weekend. And then by Monday, we're in the low 40s. Afternoon highs, low 60s for your Halloween day, mid 60s for the rest of the week and the weekend, climbing to 70 degrees by Monday, so conditions will be improving as we go through the rest of the week, but today cloudy, unseasonably cool out there, or dare we even say cold, with those winds still picking up and gusting over 30 miles an hour possible. So make sure you do what you can to be prepared for those wind gusts. If you're driving around in a high profile vehicle, make sure you're getting a nice tight grip on that steering wheel. So have yourself a great Tuesday. You can always get your latest news and weather updates on your website, carolinalive.com.